Hey everyone, um, I was just drawing in Procreate and I found out something that I really didn't know you could do with Procreate that I think would help a lot of people to know if you want to draw in perfect perspective. Um, perspective's super annoying. You know, every drawing I've done up until literally this drawing, I've been charting out exactly where all my vanishing points are, all analog, where the horizon line is, you know, like you would if you were like drawing with pen and paper. What um, Procreate has though is this grid and it's called a, um, what's it called specifically? It's called a drawing guide. So I think most people know this about Procreate. What I don't think people know as much is how you can use this to dish out quicker perspective drawings. So I was doing this drawing and it's in three point perspective. Um, and I was charting, I had, this file was huge. I was charting out where all the vanishing points were, like the vanishing point for this one's a million miles down for the, you know, the the third point on the perspective grid. Um, and I was just kind of fed up with it, so I thought to go ahead and just put in this grid, not to use it the way I thought I could, but just to help me so I don't have to draw in manually all these lines towards the same vanishing point, just because it's so time consuming. So I went ahead and I put in all these vanishing points for the th three point perspective. Um, and that's where the horizon line is. I added that all in. I think most people know how to do this with Procreate. Um, can you do four point perspective? No, you can't. <laughs> um, but you go ahead, you do that. What you, I don't think people know how to do, which is the thing I'm making the video about, is how to turn on what's called assisted drawing. So what you can do is on the layer that you wanna start sketching in the background, you go ahead, you tap on the layer once, and you turn on, where is it? Drawing Assist. Once you have that on, Procreate as a program will um, calculate your perspective strokes. So I have this little guy here to help me, you know, with how big the scenery should be around him. And I'm just gonna do a little box house, like the generic box house for him. Um, I've decided that this is obviously my floor plane, so what I'm gonna do now with assisted drawing is just lightly make a stroke. I'm not, it doesn't have to be on the line. I can make that stroke anywhere. What the program is doing is it's calculated that my stroke is most accurately go, why is this little thing here? My stroke is most accurately going towards this vanishing point. Um, and it'll do that for all the vanishing points. I'm, <laughs> I'm drawing like through, looking through my iPhone. So if, it, if I'm slow, that's why. Um, so I'm gonna do a little box house for him. I wanna do just, you know, the regular squares. And I'm not pressing hard. There's this thing you can do on Procreate that I think some people do to, in order to make a straight line, you drag and then you hold and the line will go eventually to your pencil. You can also do that with like curves and circles and stuff to make perfect circles. But I'm not doing that. I'm literally just sketching, just drawing lightly and this is just appearing in perfect perspective. <laughs> and um, you can do that and keep going with it. Eventually, I, I, I charted out, you know, I blocked in where all my, this is a drawing of a town that I'm doing. It's all blocked in and ready for me to draw, you know, an ink and, and go into it even more. Um, and I did this in what, five minutes? <laughs> um, after I discovered drawing assist. So go ahead, try this out. Um, if you're if you need some troubleshooting, I can I can help you out a little bit. I'm not used to making videos, so I'm sorry if this is not super clear. Um, what you can't do, I should mention, is you can't make curves when in a drawing assist layer. So um, let me just turn on drawing assist on another layer to show as an example. So this is an assisted layer. It will only go to what the assistants can help you with. Just make another layer on top whenever you want to do a curve, like these are supposed to be archways, and you just do that manually. Um, and then, of course, you can, to make a perfect curve, you can do that ugly, and then you can press and hold like you would to make a straight line and make a more perfect curve. Um, so that, that's, those are my Procreate tips for drawing faster backgrounds. <laughs> I hope they were uh, helpful, and um, I hope I don't sound like an idiot in this video to myself, because that'd be embarrassing. I'll see you guys later.